How long was Jack Cole under contract to Columbia Pictures? Yes, uh, Jack Cole got his start at Columbia. He was brought to Hollywood to work on Moon Over Miami. Mm -hmm. You remember there's that Seminole Indian scene? Right. Jack Cole, uh, his dancers are in it. Jack Cole was in it, but his some of his sequences uh, ran into problems with the censor. So he hit the cutting room floor. He is not on view in Moon Over Miami. But Harry Cohn, the studio head of Columbia, really responded to Jack Cole. He liked Jack Cole's kind of feistiness. He, he was, um, well, you know, Harry Cohn was not really um, a very elegant man, let's just say that, but they had a very good relationship. And Jack Cole was able to sell Harry Cohn on the idea of having an in-house dance troupe at Columbia Studios. Very, very unusual setup that from 1944 to 1948, there were 12 dancers on salary, showing up for work really? in the morning, all day long taking dance class, rehearsing, and in this way they were able, they were kind of dispatched to different productions wherever there was some need for, for, right. for movement. Now, Gwen Verdon came out of that group, and I right. know we're going to talk about her when we talk about On the Riviera, but the main thing I'd like to say is that Harry Cohn really enabled Jack Cole at Columbia Studios, and uh, th there he got a very good start. Cohn encouraged him to go down on the set to, be, to talk to the, to the DP, to talk to the directors, and he, Jack Cole got very quickly immersed in the art of, of putting dance on film.